forms of energy. Energy exists in many different forms, but they all fall into two basic categories. The first category is potential energy, which is the stored energy that can be put to use in the future. Example of this is compressing or stretching an object such as rubber band or pulling back a bow's arrow or a spring. It stored potential energy which we call elastic potential energy. Another, another form of potential energy that due to the height or elevation of an object is what we call gravitational potential energy, which has a formula of potential energy equals to mass times acceleration due to gravity times height or altitude or elevation. Example, the higher the level of a diver from the water, the higher the potential energy he is stored. And the greater the force he exerts in the diving board when he jumps, the greater the potential energy being stored in the diving board. So these two, elastic and gravitational, are both mechanical energy. Which is, which is due to the work done on the object. Other forms of energy under this category is chemical energy, which is the energy stored in the bonding of atoms and molecules. Example are batteries, biomass, petroleum, natural gas, and coal. While nuclear energy, unlike chemical energy, it is stored energy in the nucleus of an atom, which is the, um, the energy holding the protons and neutrons together. Large amount of energy can be released when the nuclei are combined, which is we call fusion, or split, which we call fission. And another example of this is nuclear decay. The second category is kinetic energy, which is due to the motion of waves, electrons, atoms, molecules, substance, and or an object. We can compute kinetic energy with this formula equal to one half times mass times velocity squared. So meaning, the, the larger the, uh, the mass, the greater the kinetic energy. Or the slower the motion of an object, the lower the kinetic energy. Under this, we have five categories. Uh, we have five forms of energy. The first one is radiant energy, which is also called electromagnetic energy that travels in transverse waves. It includes visible lights or the beam, X-rays, gamma rays, and radio waves. Light is one type of radiant energy. Second, we have thermal energy or heat. It is the energy that comes from the movement of atoms and molecules, molecules in a substance. Heat increases when these particles move faster. So jet thermal energy is a thermal energy in the Earth. Third one, we have electrical energy, which is delivered by tiny charged particles called electrons, typically moving through a wire. Lightning is an example of electrical energy in nature. Other forms of energy are also converted to electrical energy. For example, power plants convert chemical energy stored in fuels like coal into electricity through various changes in its form. Then we have sound energy, which is produced when an object is made to vibrate. Sound energy travels out of waves in all directions, 
Some needs a medium to travel through, such as air, water, wood, or even metal. Examples of sound energy are voices, whistles, horns, and musical instruments. And lastly, we have mechanical energy, which is the energy a substance or system has because of its motion, like machines. So example, are rolling bicycles, moving gears, and running cars. And take note of this. Um, mechanical energy can be placed in two forms, either kinetic or potential energy.